And our last story is about the future of men. The Y chromosome responsible for determining the male sex in humans is slowly disappearing due to evolutionary changes. Over millions of years, it's lost most of its genes, leaving only a handful of functional ones. The, de the degeneration has scientists wondering if the Y chromosome might eventually vanish, leaving the future of men hanging by a genetic thread. Our final report explains this growing anomaly. For ages, men and women have been the dynamic duo, the bread and butter, the yin and yang of society, essential cogs in the grand machine of human existence. But it looks like men might just be disappearing from the equation altogether. And no, this isn't some wild dystopian sci-fi plot twist. It's all down to those little genetic building blocks called chromosomes. Let's rewind for those who might have snoozed through their biology class. Humans have chromosomes that determine their biological sex. Women have a pair of X chromosomes, while men get an X and a Y chromosome. Now a new study is waving a red flag, suggesting that the Y chromosome is disappearing at a rapid rate. It's degenerating, and at this rate, it might just poof out of existence someday altogether. So what's causing the Y chromosome to pack its bags? Well, it's evolution. Over the last 166 million years, the Y chromosome has lost about 1,600 genes. This is at a rate of nearly 10 genes per million years. But now it's down to an estimated measly number of 55 to 56. And only 27 of those are actually pulling their weight of what makes a man a man. While men have long enjoyed the perks of patriarchy, their genes are not quite as lucky. The X and Y chromosomes were once the same size, a perfect genetic pair. But because men only have one of each, there's no backup plan when things go south. No genetic recombination to fix what's broken. Thus, the damaged gene mutations remain in their bodies. As a result, Y chromosomal genes have been quietly getting wiped out, leaving women's two sturdy X chromosomes smugly intact. So, does this mean we're heading towards a manless future? Yes, but not so fast. Before women start drafting goodbye texts to the male species, there's a glimmer of hope. A recent study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences in the United States found that the spiny rat, a critter native to Japan, managed to evolve a brand new male-determining gene after its Y chromosome called it quits. This evolutionary sleight of hand could mean that mammals, including humans, might develop alternative sex-determining mechanisms if the Y chromosome disappears. So, while the Y chromosome's future might seem as shaky as a Jenga tower, evolution does have a knack for throwing them some building blocks. The disappearing Y chromosome might just make way for a new gene to step up and save the day for men, ensuring that they don't vanish from the face of the earth anytime soon. But who knows, maybe it's time to start appreciating those little whys while we still can. From impeachments to inaugurations, if it's a political story, we are on the scene. The race for the White House is heating up. Kamala, you're fired. I say, bring it on. If it's breaking news, we're live with the latest coverage. From the White House, the State Department, and Capitol Hill, we know the issues, but above all, we know the players to bring you the latest in-depth analysis on all the key stories that we're covering. I'm Eric Ham. Join me from Washington here on First Post America. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree. A News 18 Network initiative. Across continents, one powerful news source.
bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. Hello and welcome to First Post America. I'm Eric Ham, coming to you live from the nation's capital.